got this Nordine unit. It's a two and a half ton package unit. Came out last week at the end of the day and found it running low on refrigerant. See the label on the compressor? So I took the blower door off, stuck my refrigerant detector back in. Of course, you already hear it. Kind of see the oil in the pan down there too. And you say, I wonder what happened to this coil. Just get a hole like that in the middle. Oh, I see. I guess I get to do a little duck work on this job. Well, the old coil is out. There is the debris. It was stacked up this high. It fell when I pulled the old coil up. You can kind of see by looking at the old coil. At least a third of it was covered and the rest wasn't too clean. I cut it loose right here. I'll sweat off that piece. Got some nitrogen hooked up. And I'll replace this dryer. And I guess then I'll crawl up under the house and see where the hole is. Okay, I've cleaned out the insulation. And I'm wiping the oil up out of the drain pan and dirt. So we can put the new coil back in. Show you why I like to cut a line loose instead of sweat it loose. I could see it freezing when I was uh, evacuating it. See the oil coming out? That would have caught fire. Been a smoky mess. So I'll get this thing blew out, dried up, and sweat it off. And she's off. Got nitrogen blowing through it just to get rid of all the oil smoke. Okay, the new coil is in, and we have a pressure test on it, so if that holds, we'll pull a vacuum and start putting it all, or start putting it back together while I'm pulling a vacuum, I guess. Guys, I know a lot of people will knock Nordine, but if there's one thing they do really well, it's these awesome knee pads they send you with every coil. Okay, we're pulling our vacuum. I brushed off the coil. If you stand just right, you can see how oily it is along the bottom. She's almost back together again. I broke the vacuum three times with nitrogen. Try to clean it up some. So I'm getting ready to try to pick up the rest of this and stick the micron gauge on her. She's been running for about 10 minutes since I broke it with nitrogen last time. So I'd say it's getting down there pretty good. Okay, I triple evacuated it, pulled it down to 495 microns, and it's staying at 450 or 550, so I'm going to call it leak free, and add 8 pounds of R1480. Okay, we got our 8 pounds in there. Let's fire this puppy up. Well, she runs. Superheat's a little low, but it's also cooled off inside the house since I've had it on, so the uh, unit called for 128 ounces. That's what I put in it, so I'm going to let it eat. Thanks for watching.